If I mention coral reefs to you, I am pretty sure that it will bring to mind ideas and pictures of nice, clean, clear, warm tropical waters and not murky waters uh, similar to the waters that we have here in this river running through Milton Keynes. However, it is in waters not dissimilar to this um, that the coral reefs which I study for my PhD can be found. Now the reefs that I work on can be found in the turbid murky waters of the inner shelf of Australia's Great Barrier Reef. Now owing to their close proximity to the mainland, these reefs are perceived to be most at risk to incre uh, increase sediment uh, inputs into the Great Barrier Reef. These sediments potentially threaten the health of these reefs by settling down and smothering corals and also limiting light availability. However, the effects that these sediments are having on these reefs are still yet unclear. So in order to further investigate this and un un disentangle some of the issues surrounding these um, problems, my research aims to look at the evolution and growth of these coral reefs over time. To do so, I use reef coring methods. To get a reef core, you have to stand on top of a stepladder, on top of a reef flat, and literally sledgehammer in a six meter metal pipe through the entire growth sequence of a given coral reef. As coral reefs form by coral animals growing on the skeletons of their immediate uh, predecessors, reef cores allow you to essentially travel back in time from the present day at the top of the core and at the reef surface down some one and a half to two thousand years in my case, down to the bottom of the core and the base of the reef itself. Now the coral material which can be recovered in these cores uh, is often very well preserved much like this example that I have here. You can actually see from this example that the core has actually gone straight through this coral colony, giving it the perfect shape of the actual core itself. You can also see that the detail here is very well preserved, and this allows us to identify these corals to species level. By doing so, uh, and also dating these, these uh, clasts, we can then establish what species were growing and when in the growth history of these coral reefs. The results of this research can then be used to establish long-term data sets against which modern ecological environmental changes can be assessed. This can then be used to better help and inform uh, management strategies for the Great Barrier Reef and help in their protection and conservation.